Welcome to episode 26 of No BSTS. And in this one, we are taking a look at simple global state solutions for TypeScript and React. All right, well, let's go take a look back at our application circa episode 24. So we've got a to-do list application here. We're gonna add one just like that. Add a to-do, super simple. It uses internally a use reducer. So what I'm gonna do is actually change it around so that we are using a global state hook from React Use. Now, if you haven't tried out React Use, React Use is a fantastic set of open source hooks. There's a lot of them and they handle a lot of stuff from uh, different you know, sensors like these, like use media to UI to animations. And then down here, there's also use state. You can do create global state. So the idea is if you've got a piece of state that you just need globally, you just need to share it a little bit around. You don't necessarily need to use something as heavyweight as say a Redux or a MobX. You can just get by with having a single piece of shared state. Another good version of this is Daishikato's React Hooks Global State. You can try that out as well, but in this one, I'm just gonna use React Use for this. So, all right, first thing to do, let's go back over here, and I'm going to halt the application, and then do yarn add, and then React Use, and then we will start it up again. Okay, looking good, we got everything we need. Let's go back over to use to do's. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna go and bring in the create global state from React Use. And with that, I'm just gonna go and create our global list of to do's. Now let's go take a look over and see in the documentation how that's done. So all you gotta do is just say use global value and then give it your global state. That is so cool, nice. Okay, so let's do use global to do's here, and then we'll set the type to a list of to do's. There we go, cool enough, great. Now let's go down here, we're gonna get rid of the use reducer, but we are gonna go and basically take that functionality and move it into stuff like add to do. So the first thing we need to do is set up to do's and set to do's is that use global to do's, just like that. And now let's see down here, we're gonna go and change this add to do to add in that we want this to change on every to do's. And we want to do set to do's, just like that. So let's see, to do's, to do's, we're just gonna use the text piece here. And, and there we go, that's it for that. Let's do remove now. Let's grab this part. All we need to do is just do the filter. So let's get rid of use reducer in there. It's looking pretty good so far. Again, to do's, we can also add set to do's, it's fine. It's not actually gonna change, but it will get rid of that warning. And then we're gonna do set to do's. And let's see, to do's dot filter. And let's see, remove ID, just to get that so that they're not the same word, variable name. There you go, pretty cool. Much, much reduced, I like it a lot. So one last thing, how do we handle this initial to do's to set it up? So to do that, I'm gonna use just a basic use effect. So let's go back over here to use reducer and make it use effect. We can get rid of these types because we don't no longer need those. And then here, we're gonna say use effect. And I'm gonna just basically start it off. Let's see. Mm, okay, I'm gonna try this initial to do's and see if this works. It might not work. So let's see, set to do's to the incoming initial to do's like that. And also we can just do set to do's, that's fine. Get rid of that warning. 
That might end up just rerunning the same thing every time, and I'll show you why. Let's go back over here to our React app. Voila. Let's see, add to do. Nope, yep, I, that's what it was. Okay, so let's go over here to our app. And the reason is that every time we go through this function, this, this array right here is actually different every time. We create, JavaScript creates a new, fresh array every time app is invoked and every time, so we get in this, this cycle. So what we want to do is create initial to-dos over here and make that external and set it to that value. There we go, let's try it out now. Yep. There we go, perfect, awesome, that's great, cool. So now let's see if it's actually global by having another component in the same system. Uh, look at that list of to-dos, let's go take a look. So I'm gonna go and create a temporary placeholder app here called const app wrapper. And it's just gonna have a div that handles the app like that. We'll export that as the default app now. We'll have a, a style in there for display grid. Make it a two column layout, grid template columns. We'll give it 50 by 50. There you go, perfect. And we could just try this out by having two apps like that. And now that'll stack the apps side by side. And let's see, another to do. Cool, shared global state, just as easy as that. Let's make a tiny little one just to show you that it's not something magical about app itself. So just the to do's. And then I will go and grab the to do's. And let's see, all right, here we're gonna need a re return of that list. Pop it in there. Let's get rid of these. We don't, we're just gonna show the to-dos. We're not actually going to light it, edit them. We could, that's totally fine. Uh, and we'll just make that a no-op. Okay, cool. And now what we'll make that just the to-dos. So that's like the read-only version, nice. Nice, very cool. There is a little bit of funkiness there with React Hot Refresh and how that interacts with that global state as we just saw there. Obviously these are not off the shelf integrated into the React ecosystem, the basic hooks. These are extensions that you're using that are custom to your app. But if you just need a little bit of global state like that, this is actually a really good solution before you start looking at something a lot heavier like a Redux or a MobX. Redux, of course, is what we're gonna take a look at in the next episode of No BSTS. So stick around for that as I show you how to use not only Redux, but also the Redux toolkit that makes Redux a lot more friendly when it comes to TypeScript. Can't wait to see you there. In the meantime, of course, if you like this video, hit that like button and tell your friends about it. Jump on the comments and write some comments on the video. That really helps No BSTS uh, get more visibility as YouTube waits comments very highly. So if you would jump on there and add some comments, say if you like it, say if you have any problems with it, just jump on there and comment away. Of course, in the meantime, feel free to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS video arrives.